fired workers are suing a swift meatpacking plant in Texas. Now, the workers say they were replaced by illegal aliens who work for less pay. And in Arizona, state, local, and federal officials promise a new partnership to enforce immigration laws. Bill Tucker reports on a company that is accused of hiring illegal aliens to replace legal workers because they will work for less. And Casey Wyan reports tonight from Los Angeles on immigration cooperation along the Arizona border. We begin tonight with Bill Tucker here in New York. Bill? Kitty, the lawsuit is very simple in its nature. He contends that Swift actively engaged in hiring illegal alien workers to drive down the wages it pays at its plants. This is Cactus, Texas. One grocery store, two liquor stores, six bars, and one meat packing plant. This plant, along with other Swift and Company plants in six states, was targeted by Immigration and Customs Enforcement last week in a crackdown on the hiring of illegal aliens and identity theft. Now, 18 former employees who once worked at the Cactus plant are suing Swift. The plaintiffs, all of whom worked at the plant legally, say they lost pay because Swift had a practice of hiring illegal alien workers. When you flood the market, certainly a large employer like Swift that with illegal immigrants, that you then dilute the pool and that the American citizens or the legal residents don't have the bargaining power to command the, the wages and the employment rates that they otherwise would if that employer had not agreed to accept such a large amount of their workforce as being illegal. We contacted Swift for a response. The company declined our request for an interview, but a spokesman did issue the following statement, quote, the claim is completely without merit. The allegations are fabricated and lack any factual support. Swift contends that it did not knowingly hire any illegal aliens, but there is no denying that wages in the meatpacking industry have been on a steady decline over the past two decades. It's the reason why that's in dispute. We have 18 plaintiffs who uh, believe that uh, in the last few years, wages have been depressed from $20 an hour down to about $12 an hour because SWIFT has been able to replace uh, U.S. citizens, most of which, again, are Mexican-Americans, and legal resident aliens with illegal immigrants. The lawsuit also names HM Capital Partners as a defendant. The investment firm owns SWIFT and Company. Now, the suit also makes a claim that SWIFT and Company's activities violated the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organization Act. Meaning, among other things, Kitty, that if the company is found guilty as charged under this complaint, they'll be liable for damages three times greater than what are claimed. It makes somewhat of a test case, doesn't it? it? It's not the first of its kind. There was another down in Georgia filed against Mohawk Industries. This is the first that I know of that specifically alleges racketeering to depress wages and deliberately hiring illegal aliens. Thanks very much, Bill Tucker.